AMD started by Jerry Sanders is one of the oldest designers of microprocessors. After Intel's founder exited from the Fairchild, just a year later, another eight employees joined the same suit to form advanced micro devices. So this is the story of semiconductor giant and the mythological rise of AMD. We started by retooling the current product to improve their efficiency and speed. Its first profit came from the 4-bit shift register in 1970. Unlike many other companies, it tested all of its products, even the most basic, at its own expenses, according to the military higher grade standards. Hence, the customer arrived and the company grew. AMD had an 25.5 million worth dollars as its annual revenue at the end of its fifth year, having manufactured over 200 items, many of which were proprietary ones. AMD's rise reflected Intel's decline after its early beginning of K6 architecture, which was supposed to compete with the Intel's Pentium 1, Pentium 2, and Pentium 3 microprocessor. The K6 produced a quickening of AMD's success owing to its existence to the ex-Intel employee Venod Dham, aka the father of Pentium, who left Intel in 1995 to work with NextGen. The launch of K7 microprocessor, dubbed Athlon, in 1999 marked the pinnacle of AMD's golden age, demonstrating that they were no longer the cheap copycat of Intel. Such a small company, revenue and the operating income were both great. While the AMD's earnings were not as much as that of Intel, but the company was thriving for more there was not a single event that caused AMD to fall from its lofty perch. A multi-billion dollar payment for ATI, disappointing successor to the K8, and problematic chips arriving were all the bitter pills to swallow. In 1991, AMD's AM386 CPU, which resembled Intel's own 386 CPU, resulting in a legal fight between the both the companies and the Court of United States ruled in Intel's microprocessor lawsuit. Later in 2004, AMD sued Intel for its obstructing competition. AMD claimed that Intel was providing the computer manufacturer and heavy discount to prevent AMD from getting a larger share of market. In 2009, AMD dropped the complaint when Intel paid them and worth of $1.5 billion. And on February 15, AMD surpassed the market capitalization of Intel for the first time. In today's days, AMD is an quantifiable company which is back in its Athlon 64 days, may it be in terms of architecture, development, and technological innovation. And like a beast from a mythology, they created their own rebirth from the ashes. For more such contents and updates about semiconductor industries, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned.